let's look at how to edit out the beginning and end of your Panopto video where you are launching and closing out your PowerPoint. Every time you hover over a video in Panopto, you will get the settings for that video, share options, edit options, viewing statistics, and the option to delete the video. You can click on the edit button and the video will automatically open in the Panopto server. From the video preview at the bottom of the screen, you can see that when I hover over the beginning or the end of the timeline, a double-headed arrow appears. If I click and drag from that arrow, the shaded area is what I will be cutting out when I edit my video. Likewise, from the end, I can click and drag. I can edit out the ending. Furthermore, I can see that I stopped talking in here because the line is flat, indicating that there's no audio. This might be where I paused and I was doing something else, and I don't want to keep that in. So if I double click and drag, I'm also highlighting this section to cut out. Panopto retains everything that was captured so that if you need to click and drag to bring something back in, you can. If you want to make these changes to the video for students to see, you must click Apply. If you do not want to keep the changes you made, you can click Revert and it will restore it to its previous version. If you click Apply, your video will start to reprocess and when you come back to your Main My Classes Panopto page, you will see that it is reprocessing. Also from edit mode, you can click on the captions option and you can import automatic captions. This is similar to the YouTube automatic captioning service where the system tries to automatically capture a script of what you were saying when you were talking. When you import the automatic captions, you can play and listen to your audio and verify that the captions are accurate and change them if they are incorrect. Once you have corrected any errors, you can click apply and now when students watch this video they will have the option to enable closed captions this is a quick and useful way to make your videos accessible